Hi, this is Olga from hbury.com. In this sewing tutorial, I will show you how to sew a scarf, which can be used as a comfortable and easy face mask without the need for tying it. It stretches easily over the head. It's double-sided, made in the form of a tube, and it has a special pocket inside as a face mask filter. If you make it yourself, you can choose soft, pleasant to the touch and lightweight knit fabric. So you can wear the scarf as a face mask indoor when you go inside for a short period of time. The thickness of the fabric should be thin enough for you to breathe well. The project is very easy, even a beginner can handle it. It won't take uh, much time, in one evening you will have time to sew scarves for yourself and your whole family. The scarf can be used at any time of the year, but it's ideal for use in colder weather, together with the beanie. It's uh, suitable for everyday wear, but also for hiking, skiing, snowboarding, cycling, biking, hunting and fishing. I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel HBerry Sewing Tutorials. This channel is updated weekly with free sewing projects and tutorials such as the one you are going to see today. I am so happy that you have joined me. So let's learn how to sew a scarf face mask. What you will need for making the scarf face mask? Knit fabric, stretch a ballpoint needle for a sewing machine, stretch stitches of your sewing machine, matching thread, steam iron, fusible interfacing for knit fabric, trims for decoration, double-sided fashion tape. What fabric is good for the scarf face mask? Sew the scarf from lightweight knit fabric. It must be stretchy as the scarf should be easily stretched in both directions. Use cotton knits, polyester or rayon knits. The fabric should be breathable. I have chosen lightweight rayon fabric. It's uh, double sided and because of this it has two layers. It's also my favorite color with sparkling silver threads. Step 1. Cut two rectangles from your fabric. They are identical. What is the size of the rectangle? Well, it depends. The scarf has to go easily over your head. Go over to my site if you would like to know the dimensions. The link to my tutorial is below this video in the description box. Step 2. Prepare your sewing machine for making the scarf face mask. We are going to sew stretchy knit fabric and the regular sewing machine settings will not work for it. You don't want bursting stitches when you put the scarf on. So first of all insert a stretch or ballpoint needle with a rounded tip. Second, choose a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. I have this stitch on my machine. It's sometimes called a lightning stitch. And third, choose a proper thread. Step 3. Make the first seam. Place rectangles right sides together and stitch the longer side. Pin it before going to a sewing machine. The seam has to be stretchable, so use the stretch stitch of your machine, as I said before. Similances are 3 eighths of an inch. Don't sew over pins. After you are done sewing, iron the seam carefully, press the seam open. Step 4. Make a pocket to use as a filter for the scarf face mask. Cut a small piece of fabric for the pocket. The size is a little bit bigger than the regular face mask. Fuse a small piece of interfacing to the fabric. I use special interfacing for knit fabric. In this type, Pelon Sheer Knit Specialty Apparel Fusible. Place adhesive side of the interfacing. It's raw side on the wrong side of fabric. Your piece of 
knit fabric has different stretch. On one side is uh, it's usually more stretchy than on the other. The stretchy side of the interfacing should go on the less stretchy side of the knit fabric. Set the iron temperature on wool with steam. Iron interfacing in place using the iron with steam. From this interface piece of fabric, cut a small rectangle the size of a regular face mask, plus half inch on all sides, about 8 by 5 inches. Ok, so this is our scarf. Find the center of this seam and uh, <coughs> put the pocket like this, fusible side down. Put it a little bit higher, uh, about one and a half inch up from the seam, one and a half inch up. Now stitch like this on all sides. I think this is enough protection with this fusible interfacing, especially that, that my fabric actually has two layers as it is, two layers. And uh, with lining it will have full, the scarf will have four layers of fabric. So I think it's good protection if I have this pocket with fusible interfacing. Use stretch stitch again of your sewing machine. Ok, so I stitch the pocket and uh, now we have to sew another seam. Fold it in half and now make a stitch here. Now press this seam open. In the end we have the tube. Step 6. Turn the tube right side out. At this point I decided to decorate the scarf with an elastic ribbon, the same as my beanie hat. But it's completely optional, you don't need to do it if you don't want to. I place a stretchy ribbon over the second seam, made in step 5, and stitched it in place using Guterman metallic thread, silver color, so the stitch is not visible. So the ribbon over one layer only, don't stitch over both layers of the tube, base the ribbon first. I wasn't comfortable to stitch the ribbon in place when I have the tube, but it was possible because the knit fabric is stretchy. Step 7. Fold the tube and sew short ends together now, leaving an opening for turning the scarf to the right side. Fold the tube right sides together. Align the seams. Stitch all around, but leave the opening for turning the scarf right side out. Use the same stretch stitch of your sewing machine. Step 8. Turn the scarf right side out and finish the opening by hand. Align the scarf properly. The edge with the pocket is going above the seam 1.5 inches. Finish the opening, so a blind stitch by hand.
Step 9. Attach a double-sided fashion tape. Now comes the fun part. A little bit of a story. So I was browsing Amazon to buy a fashion tape to hold my off-shoulder dress in proper place. The dress didn't stay off my shoulders and tried to go up, which I didn't want. I found this double-sided tape, which had very good reviews. And to my surprise, I read in the reviews that people were buying the tape for their face masks to keep them in place. So that's when I thought about the scarf face mask with the double-sided tape. I thought like this. If you can attach the tape to very sensitive parts of your body, you certainly can attach the tape to your nose, the part that always stays outside and is used to challenging conditions, right? The description of the tape was saying this. Safe on skin. Our special adhesive is designed to be skin safe and not cause irritation when applied directly to your skin. We use safe materials that are comfortable all day long and also wash off easily so you don't have to deal with annoying residue or unsightly glue marks. So I bought the tape to try and I am very satisfied with how it works for my scarf face mask. It's very easy to attach the tape to your scarf. Very easy to take out the paper that covers the adhesive part of the tape. Step 10. Make a decorative stitch on the top edge of the scarf face mask. I didn't make the stitch before taking images of me wearing the scarf. And I could feel that the outer edge of the tube is sliding a bit down. Not, not much though, only a few millimeters. The inner edge was staying perfectly secure with the double-sided tape. So I decided that the stitch is necessary so the whole scarf stays in place. Choose one of the many stretch decorative stitches of your sewing machine. The edge must stay stretchy. I use Gutterman metallic thread to make the stitch. Thank you so much for joining me on this sewing tutorial and once again I invite you to subscribe and take a look around at some of the other tutorials on my channel that might be useful to you. Please share this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you again next week. Happy sewing!